it's all right. It's a nice cool day. It's overcast, not too sunny, not too hot. But uh, I'm just driving back into Hawthorne Pool right now. And uh, yeah, river's looking low. It's, uh, I don't know. Not, uh, not looking great for uh, the height of the river for conditions, but uh, there's a picture of uh, salmon hooked up here in the northwest yesterday, so that's a good sign. I don't know, we'll see. We'll uh, check back in. All right, guys, so here we are at Hawthorne. It's, uh, I'm a little late getting up here. The river is low. That's not good. <laughs> it's all right, though. We're uh, gonna get geared up here real quick. Um, toss the waders on, wriggle my rod. It's cooler today, so I don't know how bad the bugs will be. Hopefully it won't be too bad. But, uh, Get fish off Hawthorne here first thing, and then uh, head down the box. Yeah, the bugs are still here. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll check in. Man, that's looking low. I was hoping to say, you know what? The bottom half of this does look some fishy, but same time. This river is getting low. To be honest with you, I think this might be the lowest I've actually stuck it out to fish Hawthorne. So, let's see what we think. Current doesn't look the best. Keep you guys with me, my first couple casts. You guys could be my new lucky charm. I always turn the camera off for my first cast to be cool. Say hello to you. Say hello to the fish. No. <laughs> yeah, I've never, uh, I've never seen it like this before. I'm used to fishing over all of these rocks here. So I was online this weekend, the week here, and posting some of my new videos. I got my first two episodes up on YouTube. Got some positive comments and really positive feedback from everyone, which is unbelievable to hear. I really appreciate that from everyone. It, uh, I wasn't sure. But uh, anyways, I uh, this is cool. I like the support that I'm getting from folks, so I'm gonna keep up these episodes. And, see what we can make of this um some positive things i did have a couple conversations with a few folks about this erosion going on here on the northwest the um mary machine salmon association the msa i guess they've done studies on the shoreline erosion here at hawthorns um and i guess they've done studies on a restoration product project so that's cool to know found that out this week 
Um, gonna be following up on that with a few folks. Uh, what else? I was talking to another gentleman, um, our cabinet minister for natural resources, Mike Holland. Um, somebody had tagged him on a Facebook post there, Scott Cormier. And um, I think today I'm gonna go in and do a little bit more work on this trail, hiking down from Hawthorne to Blacks and see if the government can do something to help us out with the trail too because there's a section of the trail that people really shouldn't be using and i mean it's pretty obvious don't use a section of the trail with a, right on the side of the bank that's eroding but i'd like to block it off and there's kind of two trails one that goes along the bank and then one that does start to cut back into the shoreline so i'd like to get that trail kind of completely cut back into the shoreline at least 50 meters so we're going to have a look at it there um when we come down to blacks later on and uh yeah i mean if we at least we could get mike to uh drop us off some big boulders and we honestly like i hate to preach but <laughs> I, I like some educational signs to go a long way hey this is erosion what can we do to stop it there's some pretty simple leave no trace principles that some folks might not know are common knowledge um, you know, some of these big projects that the MSA has planned, they take time and planning and money and funding, which is, yeah, it's, that's everything. No problem there, but there's a lot of small things that people like me and you can do, uh, while we're fishing on the river every day. And I think that's going to be a recurring theme with me. Simplicity is, it's this is one of my themes for sure, and um, it's pretty simple. We're out here fishing. We're hiking down the trails. We're on the riverbanks. You know, instead of just drinking beer and shooting the shit, there's probably a couple projects we could <laughs> figure it out and, and some things we could do for habitat, habitat restoration for these fish. Uh, bank erosion. There's a lot of small things we can do. We just need to kind of be a little bit more organized with it, which doesn't seem like we are right now. But it doesn't take much. A couple people talking. It's not like we don't have uh, the internet. MB fly tires. A couple thousand folks in there. I don't want to preach, but uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what this comes of it. I know I'm going to start... And, Checking away as I can. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was uh, it was hard pulling this off up here this morning. So at this point, I mean, it's still worth fishing around these rocks, obviously, but I want to say the bulk of the salmon running up through Hawthorns are going to be traveling up this main current right here. I mean, it's only ankle deep beside me, but I don't know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. guys what's up so we uh crossed over there at hawthorne top here and uh yeah beautiful day started out a little chilly it's not bad i'm way late getting up here like i said so anyways we're uh gonna get in the water first thing actually gonna run two uh cameras today so we're gonna try that out and see how it goes and uh yeah Right on, right? Water's getting low. You guys remember from last weekend. There's a lot of rocks showing that we're not showing now. 
that are showing now, sorry. But um, it seems as though yesterday there was a bright hooked up here in the northwest, so that's a good sign. There seems to be more fish moving in the system every day. Um, I'm going to keep my strategy. Fish the same pools that I've been fishing for the last, oh, my fourth weekend up. So maybe this, uh, maybe this will be the weekend. Let's see. All right, guys, we'll check back in soon. All right, guys, so here we are sitting on a rock. Nice rock. Oh, yeah. I'm not sitting, I guess I'm standing. Fishing the uh, lower half of black. Getting a first good look at the uh, erosion. Pretty bad at black here as well. Met up with a couple other guys there at uh, Hawthorne when I was going back to the car and I uh, walked down with them. I showed them blacks. They just did a pass. I think they, I don't know. I think they said they head back to the truck for lunch. So I might fish with them this afternoon. We'll see if they're still back by the time I get back there. I'm just gonna do one pass through the bottom here. And then I'm gonna go do a little bit of trail work. Yeah, we're just fishing through. And we're checking in with you. And we're trying to hook a My bad. There you go. Location, Savogel. Cool name. Undisclosed. You want to find out where I am? Because I like this spot. You have to come fish with me. It's, uh, two other guys that I met up with here today. They're down fishing the lower half of this pool. And uh, yeah, nice day out. Fish blacks this morning. No luck. Hawthorne this morning. New luck. Uh, I stopped by Little River and uh, again, didn't see any fish at Little River this morning. So we're just on the move. Fishing a new river, fishing the Savogel.
All right, guys. So uh, yeah, fish this out. Um, well, salmon, a couple little trout. But uh, man, this is a wicked spot. It uh, it definitely looks fishy. Um, I haven't fished here a lot. I want to find out a little bit more information about this spot and uh, this bogle, and uh, if it's a timing thing. I mean, right now I'm after June fish, so that's definitely a timing thing. But I'm interested about the main run and uh, it's a vogel. Anyways, have a second look here before I uh, hike out. It's a really cool spot. It's a completely different type of rock formation that's on the Savogo as opposed to the northwest. Somebody smarter than I could tell you exactly what type of rock this is, but there's all these channels carved through the stone here, so it looks like sand, but that's all stone out there. It's really cool. And uh, up around the corner, it's even cooler. Let's take you guys along. Let's check that out. around here. The spot just gets cooler and cooler. It would be uh, pretty cool to hook a big old fish here. Really fun to play the fish here. I'd be interested to see where they'd run. Be careful, this is all undercut now. Check this out. Anybody watching this, you might know where I'm at. I got a couple friends on here that have followed me that know who this is. But uh, I'm not going to release all the details as to where I'm fishing. This is a spot that's hard to get to. I just showed two new guys this spot. But uh, honestly, I don't know how you boys that, if you liked it or not, fishing on the Mary Machi. Sometimes it's not the best water, but uh, for now, it's the only water that I have to fish. It's the rest of you, she's just uh, she's too far away from me. Pretty glad I got out here today. I uh, I got some pretty unfortunate news. I got into some cell phone service, so it's not the best. But uh, yeah, I'm at a cell phone service for now, so no more bad news. We're gonna enjoy the day, and uh, I'm gonna do everything I can to hook and do a, uh, a bright fish today. See if I can make it happen. You know, bombing around the woods with a uh, camera in my hand is not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. I can get used to this. Maybe I'll be doing addition tapes for a loan. Huh? Yeah. Right. Another cool little run right here. I've never actually fished this. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying to you. I fished this once last year with the boys. I don't know, I think we fished it too early again. So I am interested to know a little, I'm gonna try and find some more information about the, uh, oh yeah, that's a cool little run. I 
mean, you would think they would run up this side right here with all the water, as opposed to over there, but I don't know. I'm not a salmon. If you're a salmon, just uh, hashtag, where do you swim on the Savoga at this pool? <laughs> I have gone all the way up here and fished this before. <clears throat> pocket right here I want to check. It's this ran little circular deep pocket. It's quite deep. It's the cool thing about this uh, section of river up here. I mean the river is pretty shallow right? And then we come up on these random little deep pockets, these little kettle holes. So I'm wondering, does the water get low if I should be spending more time targeting this area? It's a pretty cool spot. All right guys, so uh, yeah, tour of the Savogel. Pretty cool spot, like I said about a million times. Looks some fishy. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a good hike back to the car here, so I'm gonna shut the little camera down and uh, why don't we take a nature poop? But uh, yeah, anyway guys, we will check back in later. <laughs> See ya. Right, we got a nice fish on here. It's got weight. Just took a little bit of line, could be a grill, but it's not running. It's a trout, it's a very nice trout. Looks like a trout. Let's see if we can land them. This is a very nice trout. He's gonna be over 14 inches or so, I'd say. That is a chub. Wow. That has to be the biggest chub I have ever caught. This right here. Is the biggest sucker I have ever caught. He has to be the better part of, I don't know, 18 inches what's up guys all right i think this is uh i think that was my last stop for the day finished up the day here at warrington no salmon uh did catch a nice trout and two of the biggest chubs i think i've ever caught caught a little summer uh, but uh all in all it was a good day did some exploring today we're up on the subogle <laughs> still not mentioned the pool name and uh, yeah, it's a good day. Wrapping her up at Warrington. So appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Much appreciate it. It'd be awesome. Try to get this channel up and running. All right, guys. Well, until next time, have a good night. See ya.